this is the third episode of Versus Video Series or VS Squared. Oh yeah! This is the Warzone Stick Show. This channel will now be the IT Fighting Arena. We're gonna make them fight till death. So we would know which one is better. This can be certifications, tools, technologies, and even IT instructors slash IT vloggers. In the blue corner, we have GNS3. And the red corner, we have MNG. Now, since I use both tools, I will also provide my own opinion. And I will give more points. Because I am Career and Certification Captain. And on this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, trivia and tutorials in cybersecurity, trivia and tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. Now, how do we know which one is better? It's very simple. We will just use the internet and we will search GNS3 versus EVENG in Reddit. And as you can see, we have many results. What I'm gonna do is I will just open the best four discussions. So GNS3 versus EVENG. Uh, second is want to build a virtual network for free or cheap. GNS3 EVENG. Now, this discussion, ditching GNS3 for EVENG, the title itself is already biased. So we're going to skip this one. I'm going to open this GNS3 versus EVENG. Uh, this is one we have the third party CML, so we're going to skip it. Um, what else? How about this? GNS3 or EVENG, which is better for labbing Nexus fabric. Okay, so we have four results or for discussion. So the first one is three years ago, but that's okay. So this guy is asking for GNS3 versus EVENG, which network simulator uses more resources. So some of the comments here, uh, they, they, they answered which tool they preferred and some they answered uh, which one has more resources. Okay, all right. <clears throat> so the first guy here, I use GNS3, absolutely love it, but I also had EVENG um, since I love the way it looks, but I ended up using GNS3 more because I set it up with my right images. Okay, and then we have comments here or response. Um, all right, so this guy, about the same, I'm an EVENG evangelist. GNS3 is fine, but EVENG is great. All right, so this guy, GNS3 for quick labs, EVENG for bigger ones. And he thinks for CCNA preparation, GNS3 is your best bet as you don't need to lab any huge concepts. And then we have a lot of responses here. Next, EVENG is so much powerful. You can lab even non-networking things extremely easily. All right, next. EVENG in uh, bare metal is tied to Ubuntu 16.04 LTS. Well, this post is like three years ago, so the version has been already updated. And uh, he says here, GNS3 allows me to run the latest Ubuntu. Okay, I spend decent amount of my workstation. Okay, let's skip this. Hmm, which one uses more resources? I don't know. Okay, so it's about resources. Same with this guy. All right, so this guy, he prefers EVENG over GNS3. Okay, and another... Eve NG fan here, Eve NG for me, I find that loading images and doing mixed vendor a lot easier to do, especially for bigger labs and doing lots of testing. Okay, and there's a lot of responses for his comment. Okay, doesn't matter. Eve NG is much better platform. For me, it was faster to set up and it's more intuitive for me to use. So I use Eve, but try both. This guy, I used GNS3 several years ago and then found UnitLab. We don't care about UnitLab. Okay, let's, so let's skip this. 
I'm looking to do more labs, something I do daily. I haven't heard it's difficult to obtain if ng. I heard it's difficult to obtain if ng images. Can anyone provide any sources? Ah, uh, let's skip this. Basically, GNS3 is easier, but to do big scenarios, if is much better. Okay, so this is CML. Let's skip that. I gave up on both. There are some people that are really good at it. I would rather use real world equipment. Okay, and uh, this one. It's not GNS3 or EVNG. Bottleneck is Quemu. Uh, I prefer GNS3. It's open source. Therefore, it's less sketchy. And they have discussion about open source. We'll just skip this. All right, so let's go to the second discussion. I want to build a virtual network for free or cheap. GNS3 or EVNG. Okay, so let's look at some of the comments. The images are the same for GNS3 and EVNG. And you need to add them. There are tons of how-tos. Both are free to use, but you can buy EVNG Pro. Um, he actually didn't answer or commented his preferred tool. So we'll just skip this. Okay, but this guy said never tried EVNG, but GNS3 runs just fine without a dedicated server. Um, all right, so this guy. I like GNS3 and haven't found it buggy. Lots of people swear by if though. Okay, and this guy. I'm still in GNS3 camp. It's likely not GNS3 that's buggy. When you hear this, it's the virtual routers or virtual switches themselves. So this guy, he says GNS3 is okay. It's not buggy. What is buggy are the images, the routers, and the, uh, the switches. I use GNS3 in my virtual machines on my ESXi server. It's not buggy by any means. More the images you run are sometimes a little buggy. Okay. If ng, it's finicky to get going. But once you got if ng up and some images installed, it's quite nice. I've never had any problems with GNS3. After many years, I have moved to if ng just because I like more the graphical interface. In essence, they both do the same. Okay. For me, if works best. Setup is fairly easy and you only have to pay or search for the images you want to work with. All right, next. Install GNS3 on Linux server. Don't install GNS3 on Windows server. GNS3 has its problems, but it's actually a really great piece of software. Okay, next. GNS3 has been pretty stable for me. Just avoid updating when they do a major release. Peanut Lab? Nah, we don't care about Peanut Lab. All right, third discussion. GN GNS3 versus EVNG. EVNG all the way. Love it. And then we have a long discussion here. We'll skip all of these. I use GNS3 because it's easier to set up. In EVNG, you have to follow a long and lengthy process for adding new images. And there's a defense here. Adding images to EVNG isn't hard, hard at all. Why I came back to GNS3, I ran EVE on GCP and it worked well once I figured out and that. Adding of images was a pain. All right, um, more discussions. We'll skip all of these. If if Pro is out of the questions, I recommend GNS3 because if Pro is like one hundred US dollars per year. Okay, it's not free uh, because if NG has uh, two editions. One is the Pro edition, again one hundred US dollars per year, and one is the Community edition, which is free. For GNS3, it's always free. There's no paid edition. I'm a recent convert to EVNG. GNS3 can do most of the things EVNG can, but it has always felt more hacked together. They use a lot of the same underlying technologies, so the difference is mostly in the UI, and that's going to be mostly preference. I use GNS3 simply because it's what I've been using for 10 plus years. I was on the EVNG train for a while, but you either need a dedicated server with a lot of RAM and CPU power or high-end PC in addition to having access to the appropriate OS images. 
All right, well, I have, okay, so this is just a discussion and comments, right? A lot of responses. Okay, so this is the last discussion. GNS3 or EVNG, which is better for labbing Nexus and Fabric Interconnect switches. And there's one response. Um, he said he's been using GNS3 at work to map up production infrastructure to model out code changes across multiple site nodes. Uh, and he mentions about the firepower, FTD, and FMCs. Now, for Nexus, I believe it's only Nexus 9000 that can be run virtually, okay? Not the HCI mode, not Nexus 5000s, not the Nexus 7000s. Here is my opinion, since I use both tools. Here's one thing GNS3 can't do, and EVNG can, and this is by default. Not sure if GNS3 has this feature already. Since EVNG is web browser based and you exit via IP address, you can actually build a lab for multiple users. And this multiple users, they can access it via the network. You can add anything in EVNG, not just routers, firewalls, and switches. You can spin up 20 servers or even more. And those users, they can access it via web browser. And these users can be your team or your students in a training environment. But you are required high specifications, like 128 gig of RAM, okay? Or even more, like this baby. So I will give EVNG plus three points because of this feature. And obviously, the winner is if engine.